When I arrived in France, I told myself, ah, at last, I can now draw real buildings. I can handle it. I've drawn for long enough. Buildings in France, especially in Paris, are so detailed. Let's take for example the Palais Garnier, Notre Dame de Paris, Palais Royal, Les Invalides, and uh, forget about this one. Some of these buildings are very old, but Paris really changed when this dude, Osman, was like, hey guys, let's go wild. Well, thank you, Osman. Now I have to spend an hour drawing a window. All right, let's take the Palais Garnier. Its architect was Charles Garnier, and I honestly don't think he's human. About a month ago, I decided to draw parts of the Palais Garnier. That door took me six hours when I realized it was just two lines in the actual plan. So now you know how detailed this building is. Well, guess what? The interior is even more impressive. I mean, come on, just trust me when I say he's not a human. The interior is incredibly detailed and almost everything has a meaning. Let's take for example that ceiling where he wrote the dates of the construction and his name. About these heads, they all have a meaning, of course, and this one indicates the north. This angle is supposed to represent an eye or something, I don't know, I'm lost, honestly. By the way, I totally respect these architects. At least their buildings don't look like this. Or that. What the hell? <laughs> what? Hi, I'm Karl, and this is my drawing. This is the Saint Eustache Church, and one of its architects was uh, Pierre Le Mercier. Well, at first glance, you're all probably like, oh, whoa, Carl, that's so detailed. I thought you were having trouble drawing these buildings. Well, that took me 40 hours, man. And just so you know, in 40 hours, I could have done 40 workouts, slept an extra hour every day for 40 days, learn Spanish again, y hacer la mitad de un proyecto en arquitectura en mi primer año. Oh. Uh, sorry, I meant uh, do uh, half of a project in architecture in my first year, of course. I'm just going crazy. Thank you, Pierre. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video and I hope that one day we all stop suffering.